bop. Boom bop. Beat a bop. Boom bop bop. Pop pow pow. Bam. Right, we're still getting that set up. We're also still setting this up. Don't worry, they'll be ready to shortly. Oh, goodness. Oh, good evening. Good evening to all who are available watching. We're good. We're good. Alrighty. Now you don't see a game right now because I have I have learned of a secret tech to make Ring Fit work. Or actually or excuse me, to make the Joy Cons work properly. It's a stupid workaround. I hate that it's a good uh, it's a decent workaround, but it's a but it's it, it's a workaround. So what you do is you start the game up in handheld mode. And then, Detoich, Detoich, Detoich. Yes, Sprachen Detoich. Detoich, detach the Joy Cons. Oh, they're hovered. I hope somebody goes through this VOD in the future and clips that. That was Freudian slip. Anyway, detach your Joy-Con, start setting it up like normal, and then as soon as the right Joy-Con is out and on, you can go ahead and drop that sucker back in the dock. And then it's fixed. Hmm, you don't have a, you don't have a lot of volume. I turned it down a little low. Not bad. There we go. Not much, but it's still there. Days. It has been a few days since I last played. It's been a few days since I last played. I fell ill on my norm. I basically, I think I've actually fell ill on Saturday. Tried to push through on Sunday. Was actually sick. Monday night through most of Tuesday, and now we're here. People like this. Good job, Tip. Keep your posture straight. Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be mindful of your body oh. and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. All right. But beyond Good. that, I am Next oddly tired. Next is the tired. heel lift stretch. Like. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. This stretch can help make your hips more like, flexible. Like, um, I had a Last lot of time. energy all day. Yes, just like that. And then, like, as soon as I walked Next in the door tonight. Next the back straightening stretch. Take a big tired. step forward like, and drop your hips. Abnormally tired. Like, Focus on if I wasn't going to be going the... putting too much weight on your front foot. If I wasn't going to be, be sure to keep coming up on a weekend here, straight. I would be... Let's do one more of each. Or, yeah, if... This wasn't the right. last Good. day before a weekend, Finally, I would not shy away from actually taking a nap today. Raise the ring Before on above your butt. head and lean to the side. We're here now. Focus on leaning to the side. Do some exercise to wake myself forward. up. And then subsequently, should stretch both the an hour after stream, go to, to bed. In your arms. Because I have great Let's time. Let's do one more of each. 
I'm just really blathering about my life, aren't I? Great job. Oh well. We call those conversation starters. Also, need to retighten this. Oh god. The entire map is on fire. The entire map's on fire. I'm on fire. Odin throwing gifts at me. Oh god, here it comes. I should probably tell Odin to stop sending me gifts. Because I'm probably going to be done with the adventure mode shortly after this. Hojicha. Eh. Kefir. Okay. Good story. Well, actually, I can access the shop. Hi. Ah. Hello, shop man. I would like to purchase a wear. A singular wear. New clothes. I just I did just put on a whole new set of stuff. <sighs> you know, I did just get a whole new set of stuff, but this is already better. Yeah, it's already better. Uh -huh. Welcome to RPGs. Welcome to RPG mechanics in your fit in your fitness game. I feel like I might have enough money and collectibles that I could probably just buy out the shop. Everything. Anyway, did you have anything you are selling? French onions. French box? No, I don't need that. What do you got for ingredients? Oh. Oh, maybe I should have made some arugula. Make some arugula shakes. Oops. Yeah, you should probably dip. Wow. Well, see, I would. But there's an issue here, Ring. It's called side quests. Uh, it's called pushing the. No. Help. Oh, I'm being dumb. <laughs> Mom, help! I'm being stupid. All right. Anyway. Let's see. 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 let I go in the ring and I throw around all the trash. All right, let's move. Okay, let's fly. Huh. Man, my time away from this is definitely showing. I'm definitely. I definitely just got geared down. Keep pushing me in against your stomach. Here we 
go. Now we're moving. Ring is all center. Also, I want well, the time back. I don't me. want the uh, calories. I'm going to look at that and get demotivated. Did I even do this? I don't remember doing this. But yeah, it's been so long since I even done a proper workout that I think. Oh, that I didn't sleep well at all last night. Yes, and he excuses. I'm well aware. You got it. There we go. Now I'm feeling it. Horribly off center. Spend. What did I say? Three days away from working out, get sick, and all of a sudden I can't do half the stuff I normally do. Way to work up a sweat. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. He's not as excellently, rather. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release towards the victory. Huh. Hooray, defense up. So you're going to have more side quests? Anyway. Drink, drink, lug. More experience. More defense, rather. For challenge. Alright, bank balance. Over there. Well, doing these will help kind of swing me into... Swing me into gear. Wake, wake up my muscles. My left knee feels weak. Like, I think earlier this week my right knee felt weak. Now my left knee feels weak. I should say, my left knee, left knee feels weak. My right knee hurt. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't see half the screen.
Oh, it's 3,000? I thought it's 5,000. I was about to say, wait, how is that possible to get 5,000? If a near perfect run was 3,000. Or 3,500, rather. Whatever. Mini. Sure, aerobics set. Where are you? Down there. Oh boy, this will. This is gonna kick my ass. It's mostly gonna be leg exercises. And I already went on earlier about how I was feeling exhausted, so this will be going great. Especially because half this stuff doesn't like to register properly half the time. This stuff. The mountain climbers primarily, and especially if there's a combo in there, that's gonna not register properly. Best is shrinking because, like, yeah, I put on a couple pounds recently, but it, the best shouldn't go from fitting the best shouldn't go from fitting okay to tight as hell over the course of like three months when I haven't really had a good chance to wash it, which will cause it to shrink. Yes, I know it's disgusting. Oh, that was fun. Overhead squat. Hold on. I have to see something quick. You on? That's why I can't hear anything. It's turned off. I can't hear anything to start with, but if I can't hear anything to begin with, I can't hear very well to start with, but if it's not even shooting out sound, then all I've got is my thumping of my feet.
one second. My lack of exercise come uh, over the last few days come back to bite me. So weird too. It was only like Yeah. Okay. So my last three workout days, I, I was only able to work one, and it was a partial day because I was still feeling like crap, and yet I'm like this. Shows you how quickly you can just kind of wither away, wither away your progress. You're not adamant about sticking to it constantly. All right. Then again, awesome. I am also running on like five, four and a half hours of sleep. Very nice. Fantastic. So my initial burst of power isn't even there to start with. Well done. Okay. But I had dinner before I even started streaming tonight, so I'm a little worried about what that means for my power, my uh, energy. Lot of squats in my normal workout rotation. Excellent. <laughs> I should get Wonderful. back to my peak form and think about implementing my squats again or implementing squats into my workout. Great. Maybe after my uh, yoga routine, get warmed up. breather before you run me through the ringer. Coach. Never mind, take me out, coach. My arms hurt after doing that. My arms should not hurt after doing a leg exercise. <sighs> I think it's just that that I said earlier. It's the lack of rest I had coming back to bite me.
when they tell you sleep, healthy diet, and and staying healthy in general are very important to your uh, <clears throat> very important to your exercise routine. This is what they mean. I would have probably been done with this whole routine had I not gotten sick. <laughs> but uh, it's nothing I can help. All right. Let's do some mountain climbers and regret and regret life decisions today. I'm like incessantly keep my eye on the notifications because I missed someone's follow last stream and I still feel bad for that. Not yet. Okay, now. Stuck in my teeth. <sighs> no, although I'm curious. Okay. What you got? 13 turns to win. All right, 13 turns to win. I've got new, uh, new gear. And I think I've got some smoothies to help me along the way. I'll fly this now. Overhead bend. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, let's move. This will target your back. Turn my back. Look at my arms. Oh god, hold on. My arms are sort of doing this. That's not a good thing. I'm gonna need one hell of a sleep tonight. Sad. My arms went numb during that. Excuse me while I readjust. Don't want to have a on-camera scandal going on, now do we? Scandalous. We're gonna say the overhead arm twist for another time. We'll save the overhead arm twist for overhead arm twist for a minute. Okay, let's go. You can exercise your lower body while sitting. Great! Perfect! Alright! Nicely done! Good! Awesome! Well done! I haven't had 
this good of a start to my workout in ages. If I could, I mean, taxing. Just two of them, so let's not. Let's stand back up. It's just two of them, so let's not expend the Russian twist yet. Starting to count out my head. How many have left? So, as counterproductive as it might seem, don't use green, don't use yellow. And I've already done mountain climbers just a little bit ago, so let's go with this one. In. Something popped from the left side of my head. Shoulder, whatever. 
Maybe that'll help. Just a few more quick reps. Sorry. Discord ping. I had to check it really quick. Be careful not to lower your elbows. Okay. Keep it up. Very nice. Sharp. Nice. Fantastic. Me. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Push through. I want to get through this awkward slog that I'm in right now due to being sick. Because I'm mad at myself that I'm not performing at what I was performing at. Not even this like this time last week. I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even be remotely winded yet. And here I am, winded, complaining about my arms. Day six really takes it out of you. I guess. Great. Let's pick up the pace. Especially me. The big of a baby as I tend to be sometimes when I get sick. Hey, there we go. My brain's coming around waking up to the fact. I think my brain's waking up to the fact that we're here to exercise for real. Be sure to keep your upper back straight. Because I actually spoke in a cohesive manner. Quickly. A second ago. Excellent. Avgard. All right, who's doing the damage? Who's doing the buffing? And debuffing. You can feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Green buff, huh? Don't push it. Okay. I think it happened. I think body and mind have finally woken up to the point where like, oh, we're actually gonna work out? Okay, fine. And they're actually cooperating with me for a change.
switch sides. Don't forget yeah, to switch legs. legs. My red legs started to try and cramp up on me and they just let up. Never mind, it's trying again. <clears throat> really? My hips trying to go out of place. Okay, try again. Okay. So this is turn six. This will be turn six. So I've got seven turns to defeat this and whatever the last round is. Over, overly doable. Not yet. Let me get my feet positioned first. Switch My left leg started to get out of me. Right that last second. Slowly twist to the right. Slowly return to the starting position. Try and keep your lower body still. Killing me. Everything's killing me. Keep squeezing. I can only hope that my everything will return back to normal. Overhead arm twist. I can only really hope everything returns back to normal after a good night of sleep tonight and an actual meal. Tomorrow night, instead of my indigestion making me effectively eat table scraps. Seven, I think. Okay. It's supposed to be turn eight. So this is the turn we want to get extra saucy. 
getting extra saucy. Now, I know something's wrong with me if I can't do Russian twist properly. Twist. That's a dead dude. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. A tough one, but you can do it. Okay, this will do. I was debating on mountain climbers, but that's only gonna give me two. It's not worth it. Tally's checked. All points acquired. All level ups achieved. Holy cow. Here's your bonus. 800 buko bucks. We keep the, we keep the beat going. Okay, let's do something more running. Fifty wooden boxes. Fifty. Six cent? No. Cinquenta? Cinquenta, sesenta, setenta. Yeah, that's right. So they sent us boxes for a dragon drinker. Oh, dragon drinker. Help, I'm speaking to three I'm speaking three different languages and I don't understand any of them. Yes. 
Ring, I understand how this sucks. You don't need to remind me. I do it daily. Con context might be needed. Hang on. Oh. Well, I don't need to pause there. The war drama function is looming. Okay. yourself controller you got it keep pushing me into your snow no lie no lie to you guys if it wasn't if it wasn't a workout stream day or a workout day for me really I'd probably be on the bandwagon I'm playing Scott Putnam right now. But, I made a promise. I made a promise to myself and to you guys. Thursdays until Ring Fit Story Mode is complete would be Ring, would be ring Fit Workout Days. And I intend to uphold my promise. Those. Well, nine more boxes. That shouldn't be that hard to do. Especially when there's like 12 right here. Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Measuring. Please do not. So I can hear my pulse going crazy in, my, in the back of my head. I feel like most of this is just gonna be falling slowly around while she goes unclean. Because I am no. Um, I am working my way towards that boon. Actually, while I'm in this menu. It's more power, but I don't want it. All right. She is still here. Six thousand points in sixty seconds. A, th a thousand point or a hundred points a second. All right. Listen, I did. I did basic math in school. Plus, it'll be a nice wind down from that. Ready? Go! That 
doesn't feel like I'm doing it right, by the way, if I just squeeze it lightly. when this is my obstacle, right? Okay, I tried to do one more. I tried to get greedy. Diamond, not crush. Oh, man. I, it, it sounds like such an old man thing to say, but man. It just feels... <laughs> it really feels great to just be popping everything right now. Because it's actually really like... Like, popping everything in my joints and everything is really kind of re revitalizing me in a sense. Such an old man thing to say. Guys, I might be, I might be an old man. I might be old than Johnson. You know, the guy three doors, three doors down tells you to stop throwing rocks in his yard, but you keep throwing rocks in his yard because it's funny. Old man Johnson. Time to rest. Got it. Got the peony apple. What's a peony apple? How how disjointed do you think we're gonna be? My arms like yellow again. How disjointed from reality do you think we're gonna be in like ten years? Where children are gonna be? Where children are gonna go pine apple? Is that? Is that a weird way to say store app? Not knowing at all what fruit is? These are things I think about when I'm left alone with my thoughts. Thank God it's only thoughts like that. Could be much worse if they were much darker thoughts. Ugh. Here I am getting macabre on you on top of everything else. The macabre or, mor or morose? I think morose is the more accurate or more apt term. <sighs> All the stopping and starting is really starting to hurt my ankles. Ankles and knees. Yeah. I feel like I should take a minute here. 
What's it done with this one? It brew up the last of the smoothies we have for the rest of the game. Oh god, there's another. You did it! Ah. Take the low road. Wait, where's the rock? I came down here looking for the rock. Wait, even. I spilled four more rocks here. At least four more rocks. I haven't jumped any. I stopped uh, high stepping a while ago again. I think it's definitely now at the point where the, do the designer of this challenge is like, oh, right, like the rocks. The rocks specifically designed for the character to break. Those rocks. Okay, there's a big boy, two small boys, a sm um, medium sized boy, so we have three more rocks after the uh, rail segment coming up here. Yeah, that's three rocks. Bye, caribou. Bye, caribou. I'm doing this thing. You got it. Keep pushing. Game, me I understand. You need feedback really quickly. But the human body is a thing. Keep in mind. Okay, I'm just gonna walk it up there. I got the blue berries. The blue barriers. There. Made it. You did it. <sighs> Drop your hips.
destroy Balder. <sighs> I'm doing okay. I'm exhausted. As you can see. As you can tell, I which is the bad part. I've gone on I've gone on about this constantly. Throughout the stream already. But I am more exhausted than I should be because I'm not at a restful amount of sleep and I was sick I was sick Saturday up and through Tuesday and I didn't work out because of that so I am out of practice and I'm on little sleep as is other than that Peachy Dory Dreadmill. No golds. No golds. I hate these challenges. Especially now that we're doing Dreadmill. I'm feeling better, yes. I'm feeling loads better. Um, what is it? I'm not 100% sure what my ailment was. Like, me and my mother are suspecting it was mostly sinus com combined with something I ate that wasn't fully cooked through, potentially. But a coworker of mine whose husband is had the same symptoms thinks it's a cold going around that gives you that gives you those symptoms I mentioned which are two of the three flags to say you have COVID more or less a cold's going around that gives the same symptoms of COVID without it being COVID needless to say I was scared <laughs> ready go Whatever, keep going. Squeeze your abdominal muscles and breathe deep. To keep your body stable, focus on keeping your core muscles pulled in. Oh, I missed that one, dang it. Play get 4,000. Also, you don't have to run as fast on Dreadmill, it seems. Like, I was kind of going pedal to the metal on Dreadmill. But you don't need to go that fast, apparently. Next stop. Do it for the jump. As I said, you know, my symptoms that I was having, so imagine my fear, you know, oh, what was it? When was I having those body aches? Uh, okay, go. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. There we go, got it. Ugh. That sucks too. Like when you have a family member that contracts it, like thankfully, thankfully, all of my family, married into family or not, have been smart and have not, and have taken every precaution necessary to not get COVID. So thank God, nobody in my family's got it. But I've heard so many stories about people who, 
work in public relations or customer service or have family members who do those two things where it's like yeah I have COVID because of somebody else who wasn't who wasn't doing it by the books and I was just like well <laughs> I can only imagine what that feels like because now you have to sit I apologize if I'm making it worse Lalo but now you kind of have to stand there and go well son of a bitch now I can't go see now I can't go see my family member and then there's a chance in two weeks they're just gonna yeah, that's great for me to feel. <laughs> uh, again, I apologize if I if I made it worse for you. I don't mean to. It's just my my ability to speak sophisticated, we'll say, is non-existent. I am crass. I am crass and blunt. <laughs> the answer to that, the answer to that is basically wherever he has gone. Like, Let's keep in mind, and I'm using, I'm using a grocery store about, oops, about, I'm using a grocery store about 10 minutes away from me as one example, and the Walmart about two miles away from me is another example. There are certain, there are certain uh, stores that are deemed essential that are not enforcing, um, enforcing people to wear masks. And even if they aren't forcing people to wear masks, there it's such a it, uh, it could be the case of number two where it's such a grandiose store, where it's impossible to keep tabs on every single person not wearing a mask. But we have people like that, who are going out, going to the stores like that, maskless, don't give a damn, probably have COVID, but everybody needs to eat, so they're going to a grocery store to eat, and they're touching things and putting it back. I'm not saying anything. So when somebody who is, even somebody who's paying attention goes, hey, I would like to have this orange, COVID. I'm making it worse. I'm well aware I am making things worse. I can only apologize. As long as he doesn't have any terrible, outstanding medical issues, and he abides by CDC guidelines, i.e., you know, from what I know, when you do contract COVID, do not do strenuous activity, do not go out, send, if you can, send somebody else to go get your, your necessities for you and leave it for you on your porch step, isolate 300% sleep and drink water you know that kind of stuff and pray that it just blows over because I mean the things I'm talking you know what we're what we're aware of with COVID you know we're all scared that COVID means you're dead in two weeks that's like 1% of people who catch it terrible statistic follow me there is the, there are people who bounce back from it like like the flu but there's also some people who have outstanding who there's also about I think it's 75% of all people who catch COVID develop some other lifelong uh, debilitating disease not like super major not like uh, what's one second to go not like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, or things like that, but ones like, you know, um, vertigo, I think, is on the list of them? No, vertigo is not on the list of them. Bron Seasonal bronchitis, which is something I had growing up. You know, things like that. There are other, there are other long-lasting, lifelong, uh, 
debilitators that come along with this if, if you do survive. It's like a 75% chance you'll get something. Which is why everybody is so cold. And correct me if I'm not saying if I'm wrong. If what I'm saying is BS and somebody out there knows I'm stuck BS, stop me. Okay. You have my full permission to stop me and tell me I'm an idiot. Because I've only read like two articles on this thing five months ago when it became re relevant to me. So I don't know if any of what I'm saying holds any water. I don't want to become a scare machine. I don't want to become a fear monger. So, if you need to tell me to shut the hell up, you are well within your right to tell me to shut the hell up. caveat in it too is somebody okay, can because symptoms of covid sides. don't show up until i think bare minimum seven days after you contract it and that's also the quickest we anybody can find out with the test if you have contracted covid as well as of current as of current testing standards Like I said, I'm terrified. I'm terrified that I'm current. Currently, I'm terrified right now that maybe my body kicked its ass into overdrive, and maybe that was me with COVID. I don't know. I can't go see a doctor right now. <laughs> maybe that was me with COVID, and it was a and it was a four day long stint. I was over it. Maybe that was it. I don't know. Because that's just the terrifying thing. Because I'm putting myself in that spotlight too. Of, Because forgive me for talking myself up. I bounced back from colds hella fast. Considering I spent about 60% of my childhood life. Hooked up to hooked up to various hospital equipment. Because of childhood asthma. Uh, annual bronchitis issues. And other various things. That basically just left me in the hospital a lot. So my body may have done a 180 on me from when I was a child and now it's just like, cold, done. Everybody's out for three days, I'm done with it in three hours. So maybe I had, maybe I had it for four days, semi-asymptomatic, and I'm over it. That's the only thing you can do about it is you gotta keep wearing, you gotta do your best to stay cleanly. Like, you gotta do your best to stay cleanly as possible. Wash your hands constantly. Wear that mask. Even if you are, even if you have contracted it, gotten over it, and are now immune to it, wear the, pardon my French, wear the fucking mask. I don't swear very often. This is something where I, this is like a issue where I will start swearing on just to get the point across because people tend not to listen unless you put, you swears like a comma.
I can say now is for your, un Good, for your uncle Lalo, you know, have you or your family, whoever wants to take the responsibility, if he has groceries to get, uh, offer to go pick up the groceries for him, drop it on his doorstep, call him and say, groceries are on your doorstep, and leave. <laughs> Keep him out of, you know, if, if possible, keep him out of, pu of, the, of public eyesight. If it wasn't so late, I say late because my sister is an RN, but she also has two boys, ages eight and six. If it wasn't so late, I call her and say, hey, if you know somebody with COVID, what, you, what can you do to help them so they don't become a super spreader? But, alas, it is too late for me to call or text me. Oh, there was one on the right there, dude. Right now, the big thing that we, that, I'm going to sound like, Indep like the end of Independence Day right now. Uh, Bruce Campbell, I think it was. Is it Bruce Campbell or is it Bruce Springsteen? Bruce Campbell. Where, you know, we as a human race just basically have to come together. We should have, we should have been doing what I'm saying seven months ago when this kicked off. But we as a human race need to come together help our fellow man where we can, but otherwise, just leave people alone. <laughs> we would have been done and over with this six, six, seven months ago had we done that from the get-go. But no. Okay, right. let's move. Try this to work your core. I've, I've had a whole stream going off and on, you know, six months ago when this whole thing, six, seven months ago when COVID was the big thing. I'm not going to go into it again. Just, because I'm really just, I'm really just spitting into the wind and hoping it doesn't go, come back to my face by talking about this more than I, than I have in the past. I'm not gonna go on my rant. Fantastic! Awesome! Fine work! Okay! I guess the only thing I will say on that is. When well done. the Perfect. degenerate, i.e. me, Great. people of the internet who have just made content, who try to make content for a living, who are considered the children of the nation, because they never grew up, are being the most Good mature job. about the situation, Excellent. you know there's a problem. there was some kind of national call to arms, like there's another disease that basically, for some weird ass reason, it, it was like, if you don't go outside for an hour a day, this disease will recognize you haven't had fresh air for an hour. Regardless if you're exercising or just standing out there doing nothing, this disease 
will recognize you haven't gotten fresh a full fresh hour of air. Uh, an hour of fresh air, and your body won't blow. People will be fighting that too. Keep it up. Come on. Some non sequitur back ass for its thought process that I pulled that I pieced together there that kind of signifies my, how fed up I am with the selfishness of other people. say I'll be done now. I'll try and keep myself in that world. I will actually be done now. Sorry to go on for so long. Your muscles look so happy. Nobody wants to listen to a man child who Re, uh, re, uh, rebark the orders that they've already heard 500 times from the CDC. There's some more monsters. Okay. Huh. Oh yeah, I haven't seen you since Christmas, haven't I? Damn. Sorry, Lalo, I didn't I talk, well, that's also partially on me too, but. Sorry, I haven't talked to you since since Christmas time. Again, the whole stopping streaming so I could do my top 10 video for the year for 2020 and focus on that kind of <laughs> made streaming go a little bit to the wayside. Um, I dive too much in my personal life as is, so I'm gonna keep it brief and say, my family is a little broken up right now because of health issues. So my Christmas is weird in that because of the varying circumstances, it was just me and my dad for both for Christmas Day. And we went to my sister's for like five hours on Christmas Eve to be with her family for that limited amount of time. And then New Year's, I was just kind of here. Well, no, I wasn't here. Because if I was here on New Year's, I would have streamed. New Year's, I went to a friend's house and we kind of played board games for a little bit and just watched the movie. We didn't even watch the ball drop through a stream. We just played board games and, we, and I randomly picked up my phone when it wasn't my turn in the board game and went, oh, hey, happy New Year's. That was six minutes ago. Basically, my holidays were a car crash. <laughs> How are yours? How are your two
Hey, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Awesome, you gotta switch. Um, if you want any recommendations? If you want any recommendations? I have uh, filled up this bad boy. I think it's an 80 card. One, two, three, four, times ten. Double sec. Yeah, this is an 80 card binder, <laughs> cartridge binder rather. So if you want recommendations, I got some. <laughs> Doesn't even include what the digital stuff I have in the Switch, which uh, I don't know if you yourself have the funds to do it or if you have to ask somebody else for that kind of thing. Again, it's an age thing. I'm not going to ask your age or how it comes about, but I will say, uh, uh, you know, a good game came out today. A very good game came out. You know, probably one of the best beat em ups came out today. Also, you can try out Monster Hunter if you want to before you see if you want to get into it. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done prancing about. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um. So not to cut you off, I'm gonna just speak like bluntly about myself. There's been this weird phenomenon coming about, like, over the month of December, when I've been doing commentary stuff like this, you know, Twitch or recording videos, where I've been just kind of letting loose a lot more and not caring. It's like this weight has come off my shoulders where I just kind of talk and I don't care what comes out, for the most part. Certain trigger words and whatnot I keep a, I keep a very tight pinch on. <laughs> So, I don't know how much you've done with Platoon 2 so far, Lalo, but there's a couple things I want to tell you about, especially with that Monster Hunter Rise demo I informed you about. If you have made a Nintendo account for your, specifically for your Switch, go ahead and do that when you get the chance. You don't have to stop right now. Just try to remember, like, post stream or something like that. Make yourself an account. They're currently running a seven day freebie trial of Nintendo Switch Online if you don't have that yet. And they're doing that specifically because of the Monster Hunter Rise demo and also because the Mario 35th Anniversary Splatfest is this weekend. Uh, Friday from like 7 Eastern, I think, until Sunday at 2 Eastern, something like that? I don't know. I, I, I'm not entirely sure what the time frame is. Basically, if you play Splatoon on Saturday, you're going to be in a Splatfest. <laughs> Where Nintendo has said, 
Nintendo has said, you know, gosh, what is it? Eight months ago? Final Splatfest, no more Splatfest, okay, and then they've gone, okay, maybe a rerun here and there. And now they've gone, uh, uh, we're, we lied, uh, JK, uh, new Splatfest, just for Mario. Smile. to play to play Splatoon at very least. And I will tell you based on what skill you have or what weapon you like to use and all that jazz, you could have a very quick Splatfest or you could have a Splatfest that can go for six hours. Because, uh, what is it? I've actually got VODs. i got various VODs up on both. I think both on my Twitch Archive channel and also here on Twitch itself. Twitch archive channel on YouTube, Increase your I should pain. clarify. Of me playing Splatfest, where I've had some Splatfest Fight take work. two hours and I've reached rank, uh, well max rank. And I've had some Splatfest that take six okay. hours because I lose almost every match. Keep it up. server, but I believe pretty much every one of us in Charles's friend group have had that same experience where I'm going to go play Splatfest until I hit max rank and then I'm going to stop and be done with it. Very nice. Three, now, this could be two hours of Splatoon, okay. uh, one, one and a half, two hours of Splatoon, or it could be six hours of Splatoon. It's a wild card, baby. <laughs> so yeah, um... I will say, if you want to know the specifics of time, when it will start, uh, just search up like Super Mario Splatfest or something like that, or Mushroom vs. Star Splatfest, and it'll give you, it'll probably give you more accurate times when it starts. But also keep in mind, this it's a worldwide event, so you will be competing against people from Japan and people who, for lack of a better term, know like Splatoon 2. So if it's your first time playing Splatoon 2, you will get frustrated probably a little bit here and there because if the matchmaking is not kind to you, you will get paired up against people who are like prestige rank 1, prestige rank 2, and have min-max their gear and play competitive and play rank lobbies and whatnot, but unfortunately, well... Nothing is stopping those people. Nothing really stops people from playing in the, uh, I should say, Hell Splat Fest doesn't work, is rank is a thing. There is a rank mode and a casual mode, but they both achieve the same goal at the end of it all. They all work towards the same thing. It's just that one... One guarantees you points, the other one guarantees you points whether you win or lose, the other one gives you double points if you win. Oh yeah, Japanese players are weird. Well, let's see. It all depends upon how, what their forte is. Like me, I don't, I need to set this down while I readjust, my apologies. Like me, I don't have a forte weapon. I have a I have a pianissimo weapon. It's a banjo. <laughs> I'm a band nerd. Um, I have a weak weapon type, which is, which is the uh, charge or charge shots. What do they call them? They're they're effectively sniper rifles. 
Charger. They just call them Chargers. I cannot play a Charger to save my life. But, much like Charles with Monster Hunter, I have I have understood and kind of mastered most of the weapons in the game, but I'm not overly proficient with every weapon in the game. If that makes any sense. Like, it's kind of an ebb and flow thing. For, ebb, ebb and flow thing for me. <laughs> that's a song That's a song name in Splatoon, too, by the way. Like, I'll go an hour playing with the 96 cal, uh, uh, decal, uh, what they call it? 96 gallon gal deco weapon. I'll go an hour or two with that, you know, win, 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 one loss, win, 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 and then I'll just start losing because... I get, I'm getting tired of the weapon without realizing it. And then I'll realize and go, okay, let me switch up weapons. And then I'll go to a paintbrush and just boom, molly whop for another hour, half hour to an hour. Repeat that process until I get tired of playing the game. I can't, I know how to play every weapon except for chargers. I can't stick to one weapon for more than an hour without, without my brain internally going, we're tired of this, please, something different. And the weird thing is, I don't change up my gear. I think okay, my gear grid, if I remember right, my legs. gear grid is in almost every slot is either a running speed up or swimming speed up. And then I think I have a random ink saver main or ink saver sub up in one of my sub slots. And then just kind of a throwaway stat in another slot. Otherwise, I am speed. <laughs> And like I said, I use that on every weapon. The 96 gallon, the 96 gallon, the paintbrush, the splashomatic, the tenta the tenta dualies. Just every weapon. Speed up. I will, I, do, I will say though, one weapon I have that I use, the uh, the Kensa Lunar Blaster. Lunar Blasters are kind of low tier in, the, in Splatoon 2, but the Kensa Lunar Blaster, it's, it's a weapon type that is not meant to cover turf. But yet, because of its sub, because of its sub skill and its special, I cover more turf than anybody else on the team. Hands down. Hold on, let me just pull my ego back down for a second. Okay. Let's select the skill. Let me just grab let me just grab my inflated head and pull it back down onto my skull. 
shoulders. I will say though, one charger, I do, Great. I do try and use a little bit. Well, actually, two chargers. I try and use, but not. But there's a much better benefit than any other charger is the bamboozler and the squiffer because they're basically like super accurate. They're basically just super accurate, but close range uh, single shot weapons rather than a sniper rifle. I guess the Gucci recalls from that too, doesn't it? Nice. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. <sighs> Something. Okay. Unless you want to talk more about it, I'll probably make this my last point of con uh, contention on the uh, whole Splatoon 2 thing. If you have done the story, if you've finished the story, but if you want to do something fun, something you do in story mode to unlock a reskin of, of a weapon for multiplayer is beat every single story mode mission with one weapon type. So beat it with the splat duel. Beat every mission with the splat duels. Beat every mission with the chain with the uh, chain mode. You know, things like that sort, of that sort. And you basically unlock the hero replica version of that for multiplayer use. It has no different stats than, like, the base version of that weapon you buy. It just tells people that, hey, I beat every story mode mission with this weapon type. Okay. But if you're going to do that, you have... Okay, let's switch sides. I'm going to say you basically, at this point, would have to play from now until when the Splat Fest okay, starts to get that to get one weapon grinded out, ground, eh, ground out for yourself. Be careful not to lower your elbows. All right! Amazing! I think the paintball is still going to need one more shot on me nice. before all said and done. Nice. I like how I call it the paintball, by the way. Hold on, let me look Wonderful. what we got here. Oh, not bad. I managed to push through my... managed to push through my uh, low point at the start of the stream and actually get back up to where I was. I feel great now. I broke through that barrier. Well, it took me two Perfect. hours to get there, but I broke through that barrier. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great. Nicely done. Yes. Oh, yes. wait, okay. I'm not done about Splatoon nice. 2. There's one thing I want to say. This, I guess with Splatoon 2, but also with all other Nintendo games, you do not have to have a running Nintendo Online subscription service. In order to get, in order to access eShop titles or DLC for any of your games. So if you play the story mode for Splatoon 2 and, and it's like, hey, what about that Octo expansion? You can do it. Great. I think it's kind of a commonplace with most games where you don't have to have an online subscription to purchase, uh, have their gold package online subscription service to purchase and use things from them, but I figured I should mention that in case this is your first time dealing with an online subscription service of some kind. Right 
Paying attention, I was reading chat and make sure I didn't miss anything. Also, making sure they didn't miss any follows. Still feel bad for that William guy last stream. Uh, last, yeah, that stream on last week Thursday. I missed his follow. I hope I didn't alienate him because I didn't <laughs> acknowledge it when it happened. Turn. Where are you going? I don't care about the money. We chase. We give chase. No, you're mine. Gonna check it because that wasn't very strenuous at the end there. What time is it about 8 30? Okay. I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't, but I'm curious if she has one more mission. No, she does not. At least not right now. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up for now. I guess wrap things up today. So, we didn't quite get through all the side quests here in the Land of Hades. But I think that will be a task for potentially Saturday, depending on how I feel. Um, did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask me? Uh, we're about to go through the the, war, the clothing stretches here, so I might ra ramble on about something as well beyond that. But are there any questions folks Let's wanted to ask me before I close stretches. up today's stream? You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch um, within the range of your ability. While those come. Stretch your left arm to the side and hold it with oh, your yeah, right you arm. Stretch. Um, Pull in your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. For Saturday. What I would like to do on Saturday, bear, bearing in mind that I get up and get up through my day early enough, now do the is same I would like to side. stream the last Splatfest on Saturday. Slowly stretch out, but be I say last Splatfest, I'm just going to call it the Mario Splatfest. Stream the Mario Splatfest on Saturday. Um, once that's done, we may move on to other various games. I don't know. Back slowly. I may start. I may Put change my mind and start back, off the stream. As if supporting it. Uh, doing my ring fit routine, which actually may just involve more, more story mode. Again, stay in a comfortable range of movement. Depends upon how I feel. But bring yourself something back slowly. I do want to say. Spread your feet. Because I have both hands. And hold your left loads of tentative plans while pulling on your various wrist, tentative plans to the right and this weekend. Side. Um, they all hinge on the go of one or two people. Try not to call people out Return specifically, but position, switch hands, a lot of my plans do hinge way. on the the say so and want of one Swing or two people. To the side while taking care not to but if they say, "Hey, let's do a thing." I may delay streaming or not stream at all if those plans come to fruition. Bring yourself back slowly. So, as always, keep eyes on Twitter. Bring your feet together and loosen up. Bend forward while breathing out. 
Once you come to a stop, breathe in slowly. Hold it like yeah, that for a little Twitter. longer. And that will tell you what, and when and what slightly. my plants are going to be and raise your body bit by bit from your lower back until you're upright. Streaming on Saturday. And hopefully I won't Bend get sick or have lack of motivation this Saturday. Pull your knee backward and stretch the front of your thigh. That's what happened last Saturday is I literally had now no motivation and my sickness side. was starting. I literally sat in my chair doing the top of your foot to squat your all for seven well. hours. I didn't even eat anything for seven, hour, seven hours after I woke up. And I just kind of gave up on the day after slowly. that. And your stretching is complete. Good job. So yeah. Repeating myself. Keep eyes to Twitter. That will tell you if there is going to be a Saturday stream and of what and where we're starting. Yeah, I didn't really have any stress relief today. All right. So, there's no questions. That's fine. That's fine. I don't, I don't, bleh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to for, make people feel, uh, feel like they're forced to talk at all times whenever I stream. I just off, I open up the floor a lot. I'm clearing this now because I don't want people to get the wrong impression. But, let me go ahead and close up shop here. Um, with that being said, that is, that is actually everything we're going to do. Last thing though, is we're going to go raid. We're going to go raid somebody tonight. And even if I have to choose it, we're raiding somebody this evening. No, I'm not going to play Scott Pilgrim versus the world as much as I would like to. Oh, let me finish putting my things away. Okay. So we're gonna raid somebody tonight. Here, let me pull you down with me. Let's let me get like this and talk with you like this while we go find somebody to raid. Hi, how's it going? I don't have to yell anymore. I pop my I pop my shoulder again. <sighs> really? I'm shaking my head because I thought I had a uh, notification. I it showed I had a notification from Twitch in my email. <laughs> The notification from Twitch was was paraphrased, literally a workshop on how to be better at Among Us. <laughs> Man, Twitch, you dumb, you dummy dumb. Also, I hope that that guy talking was in the okay. So a lot of people are probably playing. No, they're not a lot. Okay. So, uh, options I'm going to give you tonight for you folks. Uh, I have a I have a choice of where I would like to go if I get my choice, but I offer it to you guys where you would like to go otherwise. Uh, Scott Falco is playing VR Chat. Then it says it says VR Chat then farming. I don't know what that all entails. Alternic is playing Scott Program versus the World, the game, the game you see on screen right now. Nakatilili is playing Minecraft. I don't know if it's just casual laid back stuff or if he has a goal. I don't know. Botanic Sage is playing Monster Hunter Generations. This is an older Monster Hunter game, so it's going to be a little antiquated, but I think he's kind of doing a build up to Monster Hunter Rise hype party for himself. Probably with other friends, but I say it for himself. Uh, Printing of Time is playing Dark Cloud 2. And Kiddo is also playing Scott Program vs. the World. So, I'll run that I'll run that whole list by you again. Scott Falco, VR Chat, something else later. Alternic is playing Scott Pilgrim. Nakatu League, Minecraft. Botanic Sage, Monster Hunter Generations. Pretty of Time, Dark Cloud 2, Kiddo, Scott Program. Those are your choices. If I get my way, we're gonna go raid we're gonna go raid Alternic. Or Dominic, whichever you prefer. Also, you get a lovely close-up of my sweaty brow. Let 
let me do this. I remember to reply to him in a minute. Because I'll forget otherwise. No takers, no choices. Okay. So let's go raid Alternic. Um... I would love to make the raid message, I'm in lesbians with you, but I'm not going to have that be a thing. Oh, hard decision? Okay. I that came across late. So I'm going to go with alternate again, like I said. I would love to say, I'm in lesbians with you, as reference to the movie. I think I, we can go with another movie quote to make it just as good. If you want to make your own raid message, if you know Scott Program versus the world, the movie... Go with it. I'm just gonna make. I'm gonna make the raid message. I'm gonna greet him with of bread makes you fat, and see if he catches it. Cause nerd humor from that movie. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this evening. Reminder: keep an eye on Twitter. I'll let you know on Twitter if I will actually be streaming on Saturday and what. You folks have a great rest of your night, and if I don't see you this Saturday, a great weekend. Later.